Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart series. In today's episode, we're talking about it runs in my family. We're going to get to it, but first, welcome again, and my name is Deetra Dennis, and I am the founder of Full Circle Health Coaching, LLC, and I am the heart health coach with a passion to empower Black women to live at their optimal health through lifestyle interventions that are evidence-based and culturally relevant. Here at the Heart to Heart series, this is our girl talk. It is us having that talk from the heart about the heart. And we do that over a glass of red wine. And our red wine over here is hibiscus tea because hibiscus has many um, health benefits, but one in particular, it relaxes the blood vessels, therefore it lowers the blood pressure. Now, before we get into our discussion today, just want to remind you, if you will go ahead and like, I'm sorry, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, and um, click on the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a video. And you know, when you find something good, share it with a sister and then have them so that they can benefit from the information that you're receiving. You know, sharing is caring. So go ahead and share that and pay it forward, all that good stuff. And then lastly, again, this is Girl Talk. So it's a dialogue. Even though we're not live, I still would love to have dialogue with you virtually in the comments. So go ahead and leave your comments below. So now, if you will, go ahead and pour up your red wine and cheers to you and let's chat it up about it runs in my family. Now, have you ever heard someone say that, um, girl, you know, high blood pressure runs rampant in my family. So, you know, there's nothing I can do to prevent from, you know, it being me having high blood pressure. Have you heard that? Or even, you know, after they say that, you start thinking, you know, about your own family tree and thinking about, you know what, grandma had it auntie had it, uncle has it, or have it, or had it, um, or my brother or sister have it, and then you start thinking, well, am I next? Well, hold that thought. We're going to get back to that. But first, I think I need to rewind and just kind of define what is high blood pressure. So if you see me looking down, I am looking at my notes, you know, when we get to certain certain parts, I want to be sure I give you all of the information, valuable information that you could use. So again, high blood pressure, and you may hear it as hypertension, or listen, you know, grandma would say, you, my pressure is up. Either one of those is the same thing, but it's the force of pressure of, of blood flowing um, through your vessels if it's consistently high. And usually if you have more than two or three readings, that is when you may receive a diagnosis. Um, I'm sorry, when it's high, you may receive a diagnosis of high blood pressure or hypertension. And so when you think of the high blood pressure, the readings, there are two numbers. So you have a top number and a bottom number. The top number is called systolic, and that is the force of pressure um, flowing through your artery walls, beating against the artery walls, you know, during a heartbeat, systolic, that is the top number. The bottom number is diastolic, and that is the force of pressure um, when your, your vessels are relaxed during the time of relaxation. So systolic, diastolic, and a normal reading, and these um, guidelines were changed around 2017, 2018, but the normal blood pressure systolic should be less than 120 and your diastolic should be less than 80. Those are normal numbers. So remember that. And so you may be asking, okay, Deetra, now what can I do to prevent from having high blood pressure or consistent high blood pressure numbers? Or if you have already received a diagnosis of high blood pressure, what can I do to improve it? Or even if it's for your family member, what can they do to improve it? Glad you asked. And I am here and ready to share with you. Number one, know your numbers. Do you know what your blood pressure is? And you know, I love a good quote. So one of the quotes is, you can't manage what you don't measure. 
So it's important for you to check your blood pressure, you know, using a self-monitor. And I know right now, you know, with everything going on, many of the pharmacies um, don't allow you to utilize their their machines or it, you can go to your fire department they usually will have a sign out for blood pressure screen screenings um in the times that they do that so you can go to the fire fire station to have that done secondly work closely with your physician so when you go for a doctor's appointment ask what is your blood pressure reading? And then have a discussion with the your physician, you know, if it's, you know, high at one point when you go asking, you know, what can I do to, you know, improve or at least have your numbers at the normal level? What can you do? Have that discussion. Remember from the last video, I talked about you being the CEO of your health and that you are active participant. You don't just sit on the sidelines and let things happen. Ask, what can you do? And lastly, making life, healthy lifestyle choices. It is important to do that. And again, another quote, your genes may load the gun, but it's the lifestyle that pulls the trigger. And what does that mean? That means that yes, you may have a family history of high blood pressure, but it's the lifestyle choices that we make that you know puts us in that um, higher risk or even receiving a diagnosis. So making those healthy lifestyle choices. So num the three are know your numbers, check your blood pressure yourself at home, Work with your healthcare professional, you know, on your um, blood pressure readings when you go to your visit and making healthy lifestyle choices. I do want to remind you this Friday, tomorrow, wear red, whatever you have, be it a t-shirt, hat, whatever, wear red. And why? Because the first Friday of February is National Wear Red Day. And that is, um, was created in 2014 by the Go, by Go Red for Women, which is a movement, a part of American Heart Association. And it's to raise awareness of heart disease and stroke in women. And so wearing that red raises that awareness. And so when you're wearing your red, remember why you're wearing that. And you know what? If one person, one woman dies from heart disease, that is one too many. So please wear your red on tomorrow. And uh, another thing, you know, I always like to um, remind you to connect with me on um, Facebook at Full Circle Health Coaching, LLC. And if you would like to receive my weekly um, newsletter, you can go to my website at fullcirclehealthcoachingllc.com. That information is in the description below. And you know, I always like to uh, leave you with this quote every time that you are the full circle. And within you is the power to create, nurture, and transform. So until next week, you know what to do. Tap into your power.